Welcome back to Marta from Sparta. I am super excited for another spring related episode. In this episode, we will make this fun quote jeans, which I came across somewhere on the internet. And originally that was men's jeans. So I wanted to make like a feminine version of those. And as you probably noticed, flower pattern, flower accents are everywhere for upcoming season. So why not on the jeans, right? So let's get started. Supply list is super short for this specific project. So grab a screenshot and let's get started. I used a pair of jeans which are three sizes bigger than the usual size I would be wearing because I was going for more, the, more of the baggy oversized look. Um, so these are old jeans I had at home. Uh, I'm going to be making my daisies in, in shades of blue. And uh, so I'm using acrylic paint from Target. And we're also going to need Sharpies in color black and white. And some pencil to sketch our design on them. And basically that's it. So the first would be very simple. It's same as mm, doing a sweatshirt. We need to sketch our design first. So step number one would be sketching our design on your jeans. If you watched my previous video, you will see the three techniques I used making a sweatshirt. And to make those jeans, I am using technique number three from my previous video. So my jeans will have more of this look, which I used only acrylic paint. I didn't use any fabric medium. These are the samples from the patch test, which I was doing for the sweatshirt video. And for this jeans, I will be using technique number three. Step number one would be to cover your design with a white acrylic paint. And the key is do not put like a very thick layer because thicker the layer will be the stiffer the fabric will be later on. Remember that after we're gonna paint it white, we also gonna apply the color on it. So cover just enough to not be able to see jeans. And um, I was using a dryer to dry between the layers because I wanted to uh, finish this project in one day. But make sure that the white background is very dry before you're gonna start to apply, uh, apply the color. So if you remember also from the sweatshirt uh, video, please make sure uh, that you're gonna put something in between the layers because you don't want your paint to bleed to the other side. Um, I am painting two flowers in front and one flower in the back and I am making sure that I'm gonna dry each flower before um, I'm gonna swap the sides because I don't wanna smudge it. I'm not applying a lot of paint. My paintbrush is very, very dry. I'm just making sure that I really get into this jeans texture and it doesn't have to be also even layer. Just cover the area enough. So when you're gonna put a color on it, uh, it will be one simple coat. I will be using two different colors of blue and I'm gonna also apply a little bit black to my daisy to create some dimensional look. Um, I will wait until my white paint is super dry in order to have uh, this feel of dry canvas. I covered a whole daisy uh, with a first like even color of the lightest blue. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, I lost a focus on this video. I don't think I paid too much attention to the camera when I was painting or I shook the camera accidentally, but you get the idea. You basically cover your design with a one even coat of the lightest paint first, if you're doing what I'm doing, obviously. When my light blue color was super dry, 
I uh, mixed my darker blue with a water a little bit because I wanted to kind of make uh, this flower to look more three-dimensional. I didn't want it to look too cartoony and too flat. So this step might be difficult for someone who is not painting or you're not used to um, uh, paint. Um, but I was basically mixing water with a dark, uh, darker blue and I, I was shading my flowers around the outside of each petal to create this kind of fun and dimensional color. And again, uh, make sure that if you're applying more than one um, layer, first to dry between layers. Um, in case of shading, obviously it's better if the darker color you continue to have wet because it's easier to distribute the paint and kind of create this dimensional shade look. Once you are happy with how your background looks like, um, I took a white pencil and I sketched eyes as you saw on the inspiration e jeans. Um, I used the top of my paint to um, start with um, middle to have the iris of my eye uh, first and then I drew the rest of the eye around it as you see on the video and uh, I'm using white pencil because if I will make any mistake I can use a wet sponge and basically just wipe it off my blue paint is very dry so it's super easy for me to just uh, erase something if I make mistake or if I don't like it next step is using either your Posca marker if you have an uh, home or you can use black and white paint sharpie and um, I use different tips for the details so once I'm gonna draw a general outline of the eye I'm gonna use different um, tips of sharpies to kind of finish uh, and uh, do the detail work on the eye um, the jeans the men jeans which I was inspired by they have more realistic uh, more like on the darker side looking eye I wanted my jeans to be more feminine and I wanted to go with more cartoony feminine eye next step after that is if you're actually interested in doing this it's to choose your quote I googled few quotes um, and I decided to go with this specific one you were born um, original don't die a copy I really really like this this quote and instead of, of copying what the original jeans had which I don't remember they quote I wanted to find something which gonna resonate with me and something which more represents my personality and me and something which what I would actually say so I did my own quote I wrote it in the sharpie uh, if you want to do it with a white pencil first and then trace it with a sharpie uh, it's absolutely fine sharpie will go over your pencil the next step is absolutely optional you do not have to go and make your quote as thick as I did I did I did that because I thought it's gonna look nicer and it will stand out a little bit more than just if I will write it with a sharpie so I really really loved the um, uh, final effect I didn't want my letters also to be super even and super perfect uh, I wanted to have my handwriting on it so it makes the jeans more unique and men's jeans was only inspiration to me I really loved the idea with the flowers with the eyes on it but there was more um, muscular version of them of them and uh, by making the eyes on the flowers more cartoony and lighter and brighter i thought the jeans will look more feminine and also what i changed is i didn't copy the quote from original jeans 
I googled something which represents my beliefs and it represents me and resonates with me instead of doing something what someone else did. And here we go, there is few clips from the photo shoot and actually I was wearing those jeans on the photo shoot for the magazine which was interviewing my studio. So I thought they're gonna be super fun and they're gonna look uh, great in the magazine. And I had to kind of fold the waist twice because um, they were a little bit too big. I mean, they were a lot too big, but I was able to hide it under the t-shirt. I didn't bring the belt to studio with me, but I think it worked out perfectly. I really love how they look like, even with a folded waist. And I am obsessed and design is super soft. It's not stiff. I wore them once inside out to kind of see how the paint will react and the paint holds it. What I would recommend before the first wash, I would iron them through the paper. So you kind of like gonna seal the paint on the jeans. So before you're gonna wash it, I would recommend ironing the jeans, not directly on the pattern. Just put a piece of paper or old fabric and iron your painting through the paper or through another fabric. I really love the process. It was very simple. I love the feminine version of them. And I can't believe it that they actually didn't make a version of those jeans for girls, but oh well. So thank you so much. I hope you like this episode as much as I did. And I will see you next week.